Hello and welcome to Daily Prelims Practice where we take up the questions from the Hindu and the Indian Express and curate them as per the demands of Civil Services Prelims Examination. The topics for the discussion are listed on your screen. As you all know that the prelims is now around the corner. It is the best time to test yourself and we at Rouse IS have planned and organized a pre-prediction test dated on 28th and 29th of Jan this month. This test is available both in online as well as the offline mode and for which you have to register yourself first and the registration link has been provided in the YouTube description section. The discussion for the same test will follow on 30th Jan. The benefits for appearing in this test is that you will be able to analyze the areas where you are lacking as well as able to revise in a timely manner. So do appear for the test which is scheduled on 28th and 29th. Now moving on with the first article of the day that has featured on page 7 of the Hindu basically talks about the Itopakka toy craft. Now this article is in news as union government has decided to confer Padma Shri in an honor to the Itikopakka wooden toy. Now earlier also Prime Minister Narendra Modi in his Man Ki Baat program had hailed the good work of Mr. Raju in promoting the traditional toy industry that make toys with soft wood and natural colors. Now UPSC under the art and culture section has continuously asked questions related to various dance forms about community and the art and culture practices and such a question was also seen in the year 2014. A practice question in this regard can be framed. The practice question says with reference to Indian heritage and culture consider the following statement. Now the first statement here is Itikopakka is a form of clay toy art. Now this statement is incorrect as we have already discussed that Itikopakka is a wooden toy craft. The second statement here says the Itikopakka craft has been preserved by the tribal communities of Telangana. Now this statement is again incorrect. Now the Itikopakka wooden toy industry is famous in Andhra Pradesh. The toys are made of wood and are colored with the natural dyes. Moving on to the third statement, it says the Itipakka toys are colored using natural available materials from seed, roots and leaves. And we have already discussed that they are colored with the natural dyes. Further, these toys are made of softer woods and the process is known as turned wood lacquer craft. So statement 3 here is correct. Further, the Itikoppa toy making legacy is thought to be have inherited from the early 1800s. The artisans from the village region of Nakapalli migrated to Itikopakka in the early 20th century because of the abundance of suitable wood producing trees. These artisans were also involved in making the temple cards. The question for the says which statement given above is or are correct and as only statement 3 is correct, the correct code for the given question will be option B. Further, the correct code for the previous year question is also option B. Moving on to the next article of the day that has featured on page 10 of the Hindu basically talks about the lumpy skin disease. The article talks about that Punjab government has airlifted vaccine doses for the lumpy skin disease for the prevention of lumpy skin disease and cattle. As the lessons have been learned from the last year's situation when the state faced loss of livestock due to the disease. Now the lumpy skin disease has been in the news in the past times also and this area becomes important for us under the science and technology section as UPSC in previous year has continuously asked questions related to various diseases, viruses and the developments in the science sector that were in news at that point of time and in 2021 has asked questions which was related to very basic understanding of science. A question in this regard can be framed regarding the lumpy skin disease. The first statement here is it is a zoonotic disease and is contagious in nature. Now statement 1 here is wrong. Basically lumpy skin disease is caused by lumpy skin disease virus which belongs to the capripox virus genus which is a part of pox virade family which also causes smallpox and monkeypox. Further it is not a zoonotic disease meaning thereby the disease cannot spread to humans. However it is contagious in nature and basically is a vector borne disease and is spread by vectors like mosquitoes, some biting flies and ticks and usually affects the host animals like cows and that of water buffaloes. So statement 1 here is partially correct but the disease is not zoonotic in nature and statement 1 here is wrong. 
Moving on to the second statement, it says infected animals can also spread the virus. Now this statement is correct as the lumpy skin disease can either spread through direct contact with the vectors or through contaminated food and water also. Further, as for the research done by the Food and Agriculture Organization, infected animals shed the virus through oral and nasal secretions which may contaminate common feeding and water troughs and thus can spread the disease. Moving on to the third statement, it says the disease was first discovered in the African continent. Now this statement is again correct. The disease was first observed in the country of Zambia in the year 1929 and subsequently spread to most of the African countries. Recently, the disease spread in the countries of South Asia and China. The question further says which of the following statement is or are correct and as only statement 2 and 3 are correct, the correct code for the given question will be option C. Further, the correct code for the previous year question is option A. Moving on to the next article of the day that has again featured on page 7 of the Hindu basically talks about the India's first mission to study the sun. The article talks about ISRO's planning to launch Aditya L1 mission by June or July this year. Now Aditya L1 will be the India's first space mission to observe sun and the solar corona. Now the article further says that the Aditya L1 mission will be launched by ISRO to the L1 orbit which is the first Lagrangian point of Sun-Earth system. Now this topic becomes important from the science and technology section as UPSC in the previous year has also asked questions related to various initiatives that have been initiated by the ISRO and also by the various other agencies like that of NASA. And such a question was seen in the year 2016 when UPSC asked about the AstroSat. The practice question in this regard says, consider the following statement with reference to ISRO's Aditya L1 mission. The first statement here says, it is the first phase wave observatory for solar mission from India. Now this statement is correct as we have already discussed that Aditya L1 will be the first observatory class space based solar mission from India. Moving on to the second statement, it says it will be launched with the help of polar satellite launch vehicle or commonly referred to as PSLV. Now this statement is also correct. The spacecraft will be launched by PSLV and will be placed in a halo orbit around the L1 Lagrange point that we have already discussed. And the satellite around the L1 point has a major advantage of continuously viewing the sun without occultation and eclipses. And the position also provides a greater advantage of observing solar activities continuously. Moving on to the third statement, it says it carries seven payloads to observe the photosphere chromosphere and the outermost layer of the sun, the corona, using the electromagnetic and particle detectors. Now this statement is also correct. The question further says which of the statement given above is or are correct and as all the statements are correct, the correct code for the given question will be option D. Further, the correct code for the previous year question is also option D. Moving on to the next article of the day that has featured in the page 14 of the Hindu basically talks about an RTI report. Now the RTI report has revealed that India is lagging behind in the targets to increase the number and quality of trees and forest cover plantation which are set under the Green India mission. The article further says that the national mission for a Green India is one of the eight missions under the National Action Plan on Climate Change and further explain that it aims at protecting, restoring and enhancing India's forest cover and responding to the climate change. The article also mentions about the target that has to be achieved under it. Now this area becomes important under the environment section as UPSC in the previous year and in 2019 has also asked questions related to forest cover and has asked to identify the states and rank them in the terms of percentage of forest cover. A practice question in this regard can be framed. The practice question here says consider the following statements regarding state of forest in India. The first statement here is the target under the national mission of Green India is 10 million hectares of forest and non-forest land and from the article we have learned that this statement is correct as the national mission for a Green India is among one of the eight missions under national action plan on climate change and further 
the national mission on green india aims at protecting restoring and enhancing india's forest cover and a response to climate change it further talks about 10 million hectares of forest and non forest land as well as improving the quality of the existing forest so the plan also talks about quality moving on to the second statement it says andhra pradesh and telangana were among the worst performing state as per the recent forest report now this statement is incorrect andhra pradesh and telangana were among the best performing states in terms of increase in forest cover as per the isfr report of 2021 that is the indian state of forest report of 2021 moving on to the third statement it says madhya pradesh and arunachal pradesh are the states having the largest forest cover now this statement is again correct as madhya pradesh which is followed by arunachal pradesh are the states which are having the largest forest cover and is followed by states like chatisgarh odisha and maharashtra however the report also highlighted some of the other trends that were of great concern that is it highlighted that the forest cover in the hill region has declined it also highlighted that the forest cover in the northeastern region has also declined and the forest cover under the bamboo forest area has also been on a decline though there was a marginal increase in the total forest and tree cover these issues are of serious concern the question for the states which of the following statement are correct and as only statement 1 and 3 are correct the correct code for the given question will be option c further the correct code for the previous year question is also option c moving on to the last article of the day that has featured on page 12 of the indian express basically talks about the t plus 1 settlement that is the trade plus 1 settlement cycle as the indian stock market will be moving to start the trade plus 1 settlement cycle now upsc under the economic section has continuously asked questions related to the terminologies that were in the news that year and thus this terminology becomes important from the perspective of prelims examination as upsc in the year 2022 only has asked about the indirect transfers that was in news recently a practice question in this regard can be framed the practice question here says with reference to the trade plus 1 or t plus 1 settlement cycle consider the following statement the first statement here is the t plus 1 settlement cycle means that the trade related settlement must be done within 2 days that is 48 hours now this statement is incorrect this statement reflects the nature of t plus 2 cycle which india was currently following the t plus 1 settlement cycle means that the trade related settlement must be done within a day or that is the time period of 24 hours of the completion of transaction moving on to the second statement it says india would be the first country in the world to start this settlement cycle now this statement is again incorrect after china india will become the second country in the world to start trade plus one settlement cycle and this will bring in better operational efficiency faster fund remittances share delivery and also will improve the ease for stock market participants the question for the says which of the statement given above is or are correct and as none of the statement given above is correct the correct code for the given question will be option d further the correct code for the previous year question is also option d